Today we're gonna try Wendy's Chili in a can from the grocery store, from Walmart. The old favorite Walmart chili with beans. I don't know if they have them without beans. They obviously don't in the restaurant. I don't know if they have a canned one without beans. But the inclusion of with beans makes me think that there probably is one without beans. But then again, it could just be to be a grocery store standard. You have to write with beans because usually there's without beans version. But anyways, I'm just saying stuff that really doesn't matter. It's Wendy's Chili. It's in a can. You get at the grocery store. Problem is $4.42 for this one can of chili, which is very expensive in the chili market. I mean, chili is one of the kind of cheapo things that I think a lot of people who are on a budget um, who don't mind eating chili out of a can buy because you can usually get decent cans of chili for like $2.50 or maybe 3 bucks for like a good can of chili. So $4.42 is actually on the pricey side of chili when you can get a decent can for $3. Um... Especially, and I love Wendy's Chili. I love Wendy's Chili from the actual Wendy's. It's great, but it's at, at Wendy's, you can usually get like a large chili is like three fifty dollars maybe. Um, so a large chili is actually less than this. I'm sure this can has more. It's 15 ounces. I believe, I don't know what size a large chili is at Wendy's. I was actually trying to look it up. Surprisingly difficult to find the answer. I'm sure you can if you look really hard, but I did the cursory search and I couldn't exactly find out, but I think it's probably around 8 ounces, maybe a little bit more, maybe 10 ounces or something. Um, so it's definitely more in this can. So I guess it's probably in line technically with the price of chili at Wendy's as it is now. But the real question is, how does it taste from a can? Because the Wendy's chili, as far as I know, I don't think this is like made up. I'm pretty sure it's true that they use like leftover beef from like the night before to like put in their chili to make it. And they do cook it... I mean, they don't cook the whole thing from scratch in store, but they add their own elements in the store. So it can be slightly different depending on the Wendy's you're at. And I'm curious how that's going to translate here because I kind of like getting the little pieces of square shaped meat in my Wendy's chili. And I'm I'm curious to see how the taste is going to transfer over. Again, it's just standard chili. You just pour it in and heat it up. Interestingly enough, the first ingredient is in fact beef, um, which is very surprising. Beef followed by tomato puree, cooked kidney beans, cooked pinto beans, onions, water, diced tomatoes celery bell peppers and then less than two percent of a bunch of crap so seems all right made uh made with all natural beef all that good stuff this is made in fact by conagra brands inc who make a lot a lot a lot of stuff so hopefully it actually does taste like chili uh, chili's chili wendy's chili um but we'll find out i'm gonna cook this up on the stove top and I am, in fact, going to add some cheddar cheese and some diced onions of my own because every time I order it at Wendy's, and if you're smart, every time you order it at Wendy's, you add cheese and onions because it really makes it a lot better. And I also, I believe I have some saltines, so we'll get the whole kind of shebang experience going. So, Wendy's Chili. I'll be back with a bowl. Well, here's our bowl of Wendy's Chili, fresh out of the stove top with some cheese melted and some onions. I'm trying not to spill it. This is probably a bad bowl to do this with. But I will admit it smells good. I covered it with some nice sharp cheddar and um, some diced white onion. And I have saltines right here just to uh, cap it off. I, I want to get the full Wendy's experience. Uh, the only thing potentially missing, not for me, but for some people, is the spicy chili sauce which they can give you if you want your chili to be spicy uh i don't i'm just gonna eat it the way it is which is exactly this is exactly how i would order at wendy's with cheese and onions and saltines so i'm gonna give it a stir real quick and then i'm going to top this cracker with chili because that's how i like to eat it and then i'll tell you uh, how close it is to the real thing and all the rest of the good stuff so here we go. I'll say it doesn't smell, it smells like chili, but it doesn't smell like Wendy's chili. So this is how I like to do it. Let's give it a shot. Ah, oh. I'm going to admit here to being pretty impressed with the way this Wendy's chili came out. It's very, very close to the actual chili at Wendy's, even like, you know, with the cheese and everything and my own saltines. Pretty, pretty close to actual Wendy's chili. The only thing is the meatiness of it maybe leaves a bit to be desired, but that can probably de probably depend on your Wendy's location. Usually Wendy's is a little bit meatier for me, and I like having the, the kind of bigger chunks of beef because they don't really necessarily crumble them down too much. 
so they have little bigger chunks of like hamburger patty which are really fun to me and i like the taste of it whereas this is more obviously because it's in a can it's uniform pieces of beef but they're not like tiny pieces of beef they are a little bit bigger than you might expect for a can of chili so i can see what they were trying to do there and they pretty much nailed i think a wendy's can of chili at home i, I honestly you can't really improve this much um for a product that is wendy's chili um in a can it's it's pretty much exactly what it says on the tin. I can't argue with that. The only thing I can argue with, really, is the price, um, which is $4.42, again, I said per can. And at that price, even though this met my expectations and really even succeeded them in some ways, I probably will not buy it again for that price. If it was on sale or something, sure. Uh, but for that price, I'll probably just stick to cheaper chilies, um, honestly, cheaper cans of chili, because most of the time when I'm getting chili, it's not to eat the chili on its own. It's usually to make something else, um, mainly like chili cheese dogs or chili cheese fries. That's 90% of my chili usage. If I'm just going to eat a bowl of chili, I will often, even though this goes against my whole uh, shtick, I, I like to make my own chili, kind of. I use packets, but I like to make it, uh, put it together myself with the packet seasoning. And it's very, because it's very easy to do. And you can end up with a ton of chili for at least a couple days, and it tastes better than anything in a can, pretty much. Um, so that's generally what I would go with. If I'm going to get a can of chili, I'll probably buy a cheaper one. And if I want Wendy's chili, I'm just going to go to Wendy's, because I don't think the price difference is worth it. If this can was $3, if it was kind of in line with other chilies, I'd probably buy it all the time. Um, but since it's so expensive, honestly, I'd rather just leave it and then if i go to wendy's i'll get chili because i like wendy's chili but i don't need it at home it's it's i don't need it for that price um i'd rather just get it at the store where they can actually make it for me it's actually even easier than this and no cleanup so it's hard to complain about wendy's chili i mean that that's all there is to it it's hard to complain about Wendy this wendy's chili in a can because it's accurate but there's just not really a need for it at the price point it's at if it was cheaper maybe but since it's not I'll probably never get it again, but I don't want to hold that against it, so I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. Uh, it's solid. If you like Wendy's Chili and you like the idea of having a can in your house because you don't want to go to Wendy's, or if you're, you know, you like Wendy's Chili and maybe you moved and there's no Wendy's close to you or something like that, this is pretty close. Um, I can't argue that. It's pretty, pretty close to actual Wendy's Chili, so that'll be a good use case for you. But if you're somebody who lives near a Wendy's and goes to Wendy's sometimes and likes the Wendy's chili, just, you know, just keep it for the restaurant. There's really no need to grab a can of this um, to have a slightly, I guess I would say slightly worse experience than the restaurant. Pretty close, but, you know, still slightly worse. And then you have to clean up the pan, grade your own cheese and dice your own onions and everything. So it's a little bit more of a process. Why not just get it at Wendy's where they can just, you know, give it to you for almost the same cost. So less effort, same cost. There you go. So... Wendy's Chili, 4 out of 5. It's pretty good, but I just don't see much of a use for it for most people. And with that, I will see you all next time.